ओके एक्सगनल पिरामिड डायमेंशन थर्टी फाइव एंड अल्टीट्यूड सिक्सटी फाइव एम रेस्टिंग ऑन एच पी ऑन इट्स बेस विद टू ऑफ द बेस साइड्स पर पेंडिकुलर टू बी पी एंड पिरामिड इज कट बाय ए प्लेन इंक्लाइन एट थर्टी डिग्री टू एच पी एंड पर पेंडिकुलर टू बी पी एंड इट इज इंटरसेक्टिंग द एक्सेस एट ए हाइट ऑफ थर्टी एम एम अबोव द बेस सो ट्रा द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द रिमेनिंग पोर्शन ऑफ द पिरामिड सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट ए हेक्सागनल हेक्सागन हियर सो फॉर दैट आई विल बी कंस्ट्रक्टिंग फर्स्ट एक्स फाइव लाइन ओके एक्स फाइव लाइन एंड यूजिंग सर्कल मेथड आई विल बी कंस्ट्रक्टिंग ए हेक्सागन सो डायमेंशन आई नीड टू मेजर दैट इज थर्टी फाइव एम एम दैट इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर यूजिंग स्केल विद हेल्प ऑफ ए कंपास आई बी कंस्ट्रक्टिंग ए सर्कल ओके So you can draw a vertical line from that center point. It's like radius. So after that, already we have measured thirty-five mm from the compass. So we need to cut six arcs here. Okay. Now connect all these arc points with the help of a scale. A straight line. You can connect all these uh, arc points. and show the dimension so dimension here it is 35 mm so you can mention the naming a b c d e f okay and you can erase that circle so which we have been used to construct the hexagon so since it is a pyramid so we will be drawing diagonals to show the slant edges right go on so now we draw the front view of this so the altitude height is 65 mm so we should consider a length axis height it is 65 here okay so connect it okay <coughs> you can mention the naming here Okay, so show the dimension. So dimension it is sixty five mm. Okay. So and it is cut by a plane inclined at thirty degree to H P and perpendicular to V P, intersecting the axis at a height of thirty mm from the base. So from the base we should consider. A length of 30 mm. So take a reference point. So keep the. Uh, you can show the dimension for this. Dimension of 30. You can keep the protector here. And mark for angle angle 30 degree. Okay. So now you can draw an section plane. passing through this angle point okay so now we have to give the so so naming for it angle 30 degree we can show here 
so dark that cut it portion so which is cut by the section print so dark this okay now we can mention the namings here so mention with the section plane 1 2 3 4 5 6 we can see that the in none of these uh, slant edges are parallel to the xy line so we need to rotate this od length you can see that od length is not parallel to xy line so first i will draw an horizontal line now i will take a compass compass od measure the length od and draw an arc okay because uh, none of the edges were parallel here so we don't get a exact true length so that's why we have to do like this so project it upward okay here we get the true length of this hexagonal pyramid so now join it and show the dimension measure the dimension show it how much it is that's that is what your true length of this hexagonal pyramid because none of the edges were not parallel here so dimension we getting here for true length it is 73 mm so that is what uh, true length so here first you take a reference point okay. so now you project all these uh, 1 2 3 4 5 uh, 6 points on this true length which we have been generated now so just project the horizontal lines touching the true length so this is what the length we need to consider when we cutting the arc points okay so take a reference point O measure the length of 73 mm so draw a straight line 73 okay Seventy-three. okay OE. so take a compass measure this uh, OE length and draw an arc So now we have to cut an arc for from that A point 35 total 6 arcs we have to cut you can measure any one of the length from the hexagon so 35 you can cut 6 arcs here okay okay now we can join it this arc point with a straight line so you can extend little bit this now you join all these uh, cut points with the straight line can mention the namings now b c d e f and a so now we have to cut the measure the length using compass so you can join this a b c d point with the straight line with the help of scale because this are all this is a hexagonal pyramid okay we need to join this with the straight lines okay now we can uh, cut the arc so you need to measure from the true lens okay that should remember from o to 1 o to 1 and o to 6 these two lengths are same that's why i'm cutting two arcs then again you measure o to 2 and o to 5 these two lengths are same you can cut the arc on b and f okay then you can cut the arc length that is 3 and 5 3 and 5 sorry 3 and 4 you can cut actually this 6 and 1 are same length so I think there is mistake so on the F line so we need to cut an arc of from O dash to 6 okay 
O dash to 6 we need to measure again so we need to correct it so that is the 6 so that is the 5 ok now we can mention the namings here 1 1 and this is 6 ok and that is 5 that is 4 3 2 so now we, we have to join all these 1 2 3 4 with the with the straight line with the help of scale you can join it ok so connect all these uh, points the straight line Okay, dark all these vertical edges and the the cutted portion of the pyramid we need to dark it okay so that completes the problem